What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Patrick Severin, and welcome to episode two of Ask Strong Lifestyle. See you guys in the next clip. Alright, so the first question that I got, it was like a two question part and the first question was how long I've been lifting and the second part of that question was what keeps me motivated to continue lifting. Um, for the first question, I would say I've been working out for probably 17 to 18 years. Um, that's, I would say that's when I was at my most consistent time, about 17 years, but I started like when I was back in the islands with my boy. Um, I call him my cousin now because we we're so close. But we really started working out with um, with these guys. I worked out in a gym. It was called Paradise Gym, and we used to be in there for hours, working out and learning and being taught by the older guys that was working out in the gym how to lift. So I would say a little bit over 17, 18 years. But that's how long I've been working. Um, how do I stay motivated? How do I stay motivated? Well. For me, the motto is proud but not satisfied. And when I say proud about I'm not satisfied, I mean like I'm proud of the results that I'm getting, but I'm never satisfied. For me, I always set a goal every year to better something on, on my physique, whether it's to get um, stronger, whether it's to get bigger arms, whether it's to get bigger legs, whether it's to get cut up, or whether it's to put on masks. Whatever it is, you have to set goals. When you set these goals, you get that determination to try to stay consistent so you can reach those goals because then at the end of those that time where you set, you can look back and see where you are at and where you are now. And that what keeps me motivated. That's a question that I get a lot from people, even statements. A lot of people say, yeah, I like working out, but then I get bored. I don't know how you can get bored of fitness. How can you get bored of not being in a tip-top condition? How can you get bored of not being at the top of your fitness level? I can get bored of that. I love to be able to do things that I was doing in my 20s that now I'm in my 30s. I can still do, do those things and probably at a higher level. But I continue setting goals. Don't reach one goal and then think that's it for your fitness. Fitness is a constant, constant thing. That's why I call it a lifestyle. So always set a goal. Every year I set a goal, whether it's to get cut, whether it's to gain mass, whether it's to get stronger, I always set that goal. I stick to that goal. I work towards that goal religiously. I mean, I'm so consistent, whether it's in my meals, whether it's in my workout regimen, whether if I have to change the regimen. Also another thing is, is that this exercise is that probably was difficult for you. You can concentrate on trying to accomplish those exercises. Like I've seen a lot of people like have hard um, times to, hard, hard situations where it comes to doing handstands or doing core strength exercises or standing on the, um, the half medicine balls and they can't get their balance right. Those are the things that you can do just to challenge your body, challenge your physique. Um, always try to take your body to the next level. If you're not evolving, then you're just stagnant, and that's not where you want to be in your fitness. You want to always grow, because the older you get, the harder it gets to stay in shape, the harder it gets to um, stay consistent. So you always want to set these goals and go after these goals. Be proud, but never satisfied. That's how I stay. All right, guys, that's my answers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Please share. Please comment, let me know what keeps you motivated to continue working out. Comment in the comment section, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay strong, my friends. Peace. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Hey.